our goal we want to take especially antiphoresis machine treatment as HAK, we want to push this treatment in the institutions of learning because that is where the most affected are and they don't know where to receive help you know mm -hmm. because the approach that we have or most people have towards uh hyperhidrosis treatment it's number one it's expensive definitely depending on what you choose you know if you go for botox definitely botox is expensive and you have to do it annually and if you look at yeah. the amount you're spending on botox it's enough to even get you the fissure so mm -hmm. it's always about where you're investing and with such interviews this helps a lot in shedding light on the, the 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 videos and the information I give out on treatment, and I still insist on every treatment option you choose has a budget. Look at the cost analysis, and does mm -hmm. it favor you long term? We have short term right. treatments, but we also have long term. Each serves a purpose, you know. And so, Dan, thank you very much. I'm so thankful for the good work you're doing. And about your, uh, is it the treatment center or it's the what? Uh, this is our training center, yeah. So we'll uh, have the training center, meetings yeah. with our treatment specialists in okay. here. We'll, we'll do, you know, education, make sure everyone's up to date uh, if, as we're expanding into other medical supplies. So we're now getting into your uh, urology solutions uh, from from catheters even down to psoriasis and and other uh, you know home supplies. We're looking to really just expand what we know works with our you know equipment that's all natural, easy to use, a nice website experience, good patient support. So we will be getting into other things. Uh, so if there's ever anything else I can help you with, let me know. And I'd love to schedule, we talked about doing another, we'll do a technical deep dive. There's a lot of stuff we talked today. Yeah. You already mentioned there's an infinite sea of things we could talk about in terms of hyperhidrosis and diantiphoresis down to even my favorite rabbit hole thing, and we'll get into it more next time, is, is the foam, okay? Some other diantiphoresis devices, if you look at the new design of their barrier, it's not completely permeable. They use a silicon material with holes in it, and that doesn't allow the water to be completely seeped through, right? So you're not getting a consistent coverage of the skin surface area. It's as if your electrode is corroded and it's becoming spotted. And again, it's something that not a lot of patients consider because it's something that aesthetically you can't tell, right? You kind of really have to think through the treatment and how everything works together. But let's go, we'll go down the rabbit hole into iantiphoresis on, on another call. Does that sound good? Okay. But thank you very much, Dan. Thank you for your time. We appreciate you. And you know, as you should. Thank you, sir. Anytime. I appreciate you too. Let's spread the word together, all right? Okay. Thank you very much, Dan. I all right, Martin. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Okay.